You either use the internet for fun or you use the internet to grow. You're here to grow. Welcome to TRS Clips. You've spoken a lot about the southern states and how they're very key to uh, like the growth story of India. They're probably our center forward. Mm. I want to ask you actually about the weaker states. A mm. uh, couple of questions again. Mm. What's going wrong in those weaker states? Is it their past that's causing the present to go wrong? Uh, and the second question is obviously how do you correct it? Do you send the best bureaucrats in the country there? Like what's the protocol? Look, good governance. To my mind, uh, this is about good governance. And all these states can actually improve very fast with good governance. Okay. And I am seeing a huge transformation in UP now. UP is seeing massive transformation. In, uh, you see the roads now. You see the power supply now. You see uh, the quality of implementation of the projects on ground, top class now. So UP is seeing transformation. If UP improves, UP, if it was a country, will be the sixth biggest country in the world. So if UP improves, India goes up. I think similarly, Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, huge focus has to be laid on good governance. Good governance is the key to transforming these states. Not resources, good governance. Break down that word, good, that thought. Good governance means aap, you constantly monitor. You constantly ask questions. You constantly bring reforms. You constantly change rules, regulation, laws to develop growth. Say why have the ambition that we have to grow at 10% for next 30 years. And then build roads, build completely new if people need houses, provide houses. If people need education, provide education. Provide teachers, provide improve health outcomes. Education, health, nutrition, Anganwadi should work. Grassroot work is very important. That is good governance. Okay. You will see improvement. Okay. Uh, and that's the case for all the states which are probably Please. lower down on that table. I think that it's effectively abs absolutely bad government. Not like not everyone's no, bad. I'm not saying bad governance. I'm saying there can be a huge improvement in governance okay. of these, and with focus on education, health, nutrition. Completely. Okay. How do you effectively then change the governance? Uh, I think there has to be both political and administrative transformation. Many, there has to be bureaucratic will and there has to be political direction, both. Political direction is very important and a bureaucratic will is very important. Okay, again, a lot to break down here. Yes. By political direction, you do you basically mean that the political leaders have to have it in their heart? Yes, okay. absolutely. In their heart that I have been an elected chief minister, I am going to, or an elected minister, my job is to ensure 10% growth and I will do it with integrity. Okay. Please correct me if I'm wrong because yeah. I'm also learning about these yeah. subjects as yeah. I'm going forward. Yeah. Uh, I've had some political commentators on the show. I've had both pro-Modi people and anti-Modi people to get a 360 yeah. degree view. Mm. Uh, they say that, say in the States, it's a non-BJP uh, government. Mm. Then there's difficulties in the center and state coordinating in order to build more reforms. Is that true from your eyes? No. Irrespective, I don't want to get into politics. Every, oh. irrespective of whether it is BJP, non-BJP, every state government has to reform. Every state government has to do away with outdated laws. Every state government has to scrap rules, regulation, procedures. Too many procedures built from 47 till now. Socialistic thinking. We have to get out of socialistic thinking to make private sector grow. We have to handle private sector. Um, and again, the blockages that you see in state governments, is it effectively just human ego coming into play? or no, outdated laws, which okay. were made for another era, for industrial licensing, for socialistic era, all that were made for another period which has remained now. Okay. Why should there be Inspector Raj now? All inspectors must go. Everything can be digital now. Why do you need physical inspection? You can see everything on your mobile, new technology. Why should you have all along built all the old regu regulation? Say every week I should file a report, private sector should file a report to the inspector. Why should that be? Why should there be labor inspectors? 
everything can be monitored digitally yeah uh, in my is the solution is probably younger leadership everywhere uh, younger people in charge yeah. both in terms of bureaucracy and in terms of politics yeah. uh I'm sure bureaucracy. You might be able to change things, but with politics, I don't know honestly if people my age are even willing to enter that world. So every system of government, politics, bureaucracy, everywhere we need younger minds and younger people. Okay, we need to bring in young India everywhere. That's my belief. And more women, many more. we need gender equality and women leadership and labor participation of women of very high order more than 50% of recruitment women have started doing very well now every competitive exam every is exam only women top now you know uh, many schools and colleges women are doing better than boys i studied here in one uh, college called st stephen's college when i was studying it was all males today there are more girls than boys mm. so you have to give te- you should act- we have reached a situation on merit that if you have to keep 50 50 you have to give more marks you have to give grace marks to boys <laughs> so but you have to see that women get into leadership position yeah uh, we had an entrepreneur on the show who actually brought this up kunal shah mm. uh I don't remember the exact uh, data that he had quoted, but he had said something like only three percent of all women in the country are a part of our workforce, and this was back in twenty twenty. I hope that like things have changed now. No, r- remarkable change has taken place because Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana, when it started, only seventeen percent women had bank accounts. Today, eighty six percent of women have bank accounts. so every women bank account has come that means money goes into their account most of them have started using mobile smartphones to do digital transaction huge improvement has taken place in india in women but now we need as the prime minister says we put women into leadership positions so i think we need many more women in leadership positions yeah it might actually sort out all these other problems we've spoken about also so young people women will bring new energy to the country okay. what else i think uh, to uh, i am a great believer that uh, we need a lot of scrapping of rules and regulations too many regulations we built up in 50s 60s 70s 80s which were outdated for us because we wanted to control banks so bank nationalization we wanted to do coal nationalization coal all rules regulation were made for controls now we need everybody to fly we need young indians to fly we need everybody to create wealth we need everybody to progress we need development of another kind government can't do that government can be facilitator it can be catalyst we can help so scrap all these rules regulation and every law that we make should be a law for 5 years it should lapse after 5 years okay so that we make new law after 5 years okay because world is changing very fast every 5 years the world is going through a digital revolution in 5 years mm. so every 5 years we should have a new law but practically what's stopping those laws from being changed because uh, there is a polit- you need political will at state level now center has done that center oh, wow. scrapped 1500 laws now we have so many states every state must do the similar thing yeah. i think this is what a lot of urban elite fail to understand and i'll be very honest with you here again i'm being raw you don't have to respond uh, i'll get political slightly uh i try kind of bringing out centrist perspectives through my show uh but mostly everyone who is anti modi what they how they view the situation is oh kya kiya 9 saal mein what what have you done in 9 years uh i don't think people understand exactly what you just said that to actually change the country there needs to be a lot of uh, work between the states and the central uh, central governments as well and that Nein, is a slower I'm, process i'm i think now the game has shifted to the states okay game should shift to the states and we should ask questions why the states are not reforming the game has shifted to the, the states. states the state you know all reforms which were to happen in center have happened now every state has to be a reformer like uh, to understand this thought better can you break that down like yes. in the past 9 years what has the center done so center brought in gst center brought in rera center brought in ibc 
bankruptcy court center brought in lower corporate tax center scrapped 1500 laws centers just scrapped a number of uh, uh, outdated uh, re regulations all that centers done every state must review its own acts laws procedures and in next 6 months scrap them otherwise how will young entrepreneurs like you come up some will fail some will succeed but you need billions of women entrepreneurs succeeding in india billions and billions of entrepreneurs succeeding yeah you know at yeah, least you have to create a new spirit of growth yeah at least from my naive eye sir when you're talking about this new spirit of growth i would assume that state governments also want to see maximum growth for their states huh. uh, plus when we are talking about this ranking system in niti aayog and all tell me which is the most mineral rich state of india uh madhya pradesh jharkhand jharkhand chatisgarh okay. these are the most mineral rich state of india they should be growing at 12% 13% okay so practically speaking hmm. if someone like me and like i'm a successful bootstrapped entrepreneur i'm not a multi millionaire hmm. if i want to get into the manufacturing business uh. tomorrow uh. if i want to go I'm, i'm okay to go to jharkhand and chatisgarh huh. what difficulties will i face and how can i do it faster so every state has an industrial development corporation okay which supports ss and is supposed to handhold people like you so first go and meet them they will support you they will tell you what the business opportunities there are and they will handhold you to and they all many of them have atal innovation missions in and they have they will their startup movement will assist you and support you to go forward am i bringing my leadership and skills to the table yes. that's what i'm bringing yes do i have to bring money to the table as well your your own equity you you bring your equity they will provide you they will assist you through the state financial corporation or through banks to get loans to take it forward but some equity has to be brought in okay again these are golden nuggets from a business perspective yeah, yeah. that you're bringing yeah. on the show and we're putting it out free of yeah. cost i just sincerely hope that a lot of entrepreneurs are watching yes. this yes keep every in state has an industry department every state has an industrial development corporation every state has an investment supporting organization which will assist and support you you should have a great business idea great business idea you should have a little bit of equity rest will be supported through the state financial corporations okay any other advice my advice is always have great business ideas think afresh move forward okay uh i'll tell you what the fear or concern of someone my age would be uh people would be scared to kind of work with the government in some ways no you don't have to work with the government you are right working with the government is difficult do have a business idea where whatever you produce you should be able to sell to people other than government you don't make yourself dependent on government never make yourself dependent on government say don't produce something which only your government organization will buy your product should be so good that consumer should consume your program is consumed by consumer not by the government if i produce a product my textile should be bought by consumers of india my t-shirt i make should be bought by everybody my machine part should be bought by industries my shoes should be bought by the people of india mm So produce products which are a larger consumer base not the buyer should not be the government okay yeah. uh these corporations you spoke about uh yeah. right now you said that go here and work with these corporations i think people would have a fear element even in working with yeah. these corporations you're right you're right but there's some these organizations are in case you need to refine your business idea in case you need some support for assistance you can go and get assistance from them yeah. that's all the way i look at it i think any business journey you involves you getting your hands a little dirty yeah. you have to get in do the work absolutely uh, and see without dirtying your hand you have to not only dirty your hands you have to dirty your trousers your shirt <laughs> everything dirty and fail we should fail once or twice to succeed the third time there's no great innovator who has not failed there's probably nothing more that we can say about this right 
like there's no you've you've put it you've put the advice out yeah. you've put the tips out and indian parents and mothers must learn that their children will fail yeah but they will succeed the third time mm. yeah maybe you know in the age of shark tank india where everyone's trying to do very glamorous products the honest business truth is that boring businesses make the most money so <laughs> learn how to do boring businesses and boring businesses also make your country way richer because yeah, yeah. boring businesses lead to exports as well no see it's, it can be boring it can be interesting it can be anything but have a great business idea where you are able to produce something for which there are consumers okay new clips released at the same time that a podcast releases this is trs clips make sure you subscribe